what well, worked well about this was that it, it worked um, well within a contained setting, both in the car and as we moved um, towards the piece, which sort of reflected how much um, the acting had to carry um, the narrative. I thought that the, the two leads did a really good job at sort of creating a, a natural dynamic between each other while also maintaining the sort of uh, sinister undertones of the piece that all uh, sort of predicted that things were going to go in a way that was um, not too great for one of the characters. And I thought that the piece um, had a good sense of pacing and timing to build up to that moment that I thought um, worked well since uh, it was matched with a, a sort of editing cadence and a musical approach that I thought um, overall fit the concept. So I thought it, it worked well, mainly because it was able to execute the idea in a, a short amount of time within a limited space, which I think is a constraint that's uh, quite difficult to navigate um, without um, the benefit of sleek editing and um, strong acting. So I thought that the piece, since the piece was able to rely on that, I thought that the idea um, had a, a great sense of efficacy in a short amount of time. So um, I ended up um, enjoying it, thinking that it would, it, looked, it had a good, jo- a good job of moving with lighting in particular and using lighting to affect the mood. So I thought that the piece had a strong aesthetic that helped contribute to um, having the narrative feel like it had um, a good sense of depth, even though the, the plot wasn't um, completely fleshed out. So I thought it was um, well done overall. With a name like B-Roll, you anticipate some um, camera work because it's of the vernacular, but... Um... This was a really interesting piece. I think you took a lot of different uh, daring shots that were really fun. Um, I think you played with lighting in a really interesting way that added to the story. Um, I definitely think it was a thriller and clearly because it's in this um, film festival, but through through the story and the characters, but it really... um, Really, just the camera work in this was the the icing on the cake. Um, it impacted the pacing and the tone so much um, with a lot of different transitions, and it just made it really, really strong. Prime example of be careful what you wish for. Um, it was very impactful, very suspenseful, and I love that whole... Uh, <laughs> I like that this is one of the few films where it's like something serious happens and the first reaction is let's call the police because I feel like that's something that doesn't happen a lot in movies. Um, but not only let's call the police, but that becomes a whole conflict in the film. Um, the two witness a murder and they end up recording it. One wants to give the footage over to the police, whereas the other wants to essentially use it as a snuff film. <laughs> like, they want to, like, leak it online. Um, which, it, it's it's very easy to decide with the guy who's like, let's turn this into the police. <laughs> um, but you see from that, that uh, strained pride and that hubris, wa- he wants that fame. And... Again, it's a monkey's paw sort of situation. I loved the concept. I thought it was a really, really fun concept to kind of have, you know, just a film camera running and these guys just kind of talking shop in a way about, you know, film industry and, you know, all these different kinds of things. And then to to capture like a legitimate, not just any kind of crime, but like a murder and you know be arguing on what to do with it i thought that was really, like a just a really fun concept because it's so like off the wall um and then to kind of at the very end obviously have it being turned around on him where there's you know another camera that's you know filming him i thought it was really great um i really really enjoyed it i thought it was really really fun i you know really liked the the kind of back and forth and the the argument and the the kind of chemistry between the two. I really enjoyed this one. I thought it was a cool premise, real simple setup, great execution, uh, good performances, strong writing to carry it through, um, just good practical lighting, good use of uh, the lighting. Um, you know, even just getting out of the car and having the headlights backlight them, you get some nice shots like that. Um, which helped mix things up because, I mean, it's really, you know, it's, it's t- two talking heads you know, sitting in a car that could get stale quickly, but uh, they managed to keep it interesting, um, not only through the narrative, but yeah, through uh, the visuals as well. So really just a, a good, strong, short. True character is revealed in the choices a person makes. And like, this is an, exa- an excellent example of that concept of like two different characters that prioritize very different things and like they're opposed 
um, I thought, you know, I was intrigued as far as, well, what are we going to do? What, you know, putting myself in that situation type beat. And then also the reveal at the end. Great. On a short film, it's always great to end, end on a reveal like that. Um, I thought it was great. I had the perfect amount of escalation in the storyline and the character dialogue and motivation, I think, went hand in hand really well as the story progressed.